for joining Just Smile Tarot. How's everyone doing, my loves? Good evening, good evening, good evening. This is going to be a message for the collective, okay? I'm going to start doing more collective readings, okay? So if you're annoyed by that, I really do something in the hole with everybody that I possibly could reach out to instead of just doing specific signs. Now, I know that I do Taurus a lot, but um, I can. And uh, <laughs> I do Cancer and I do Aries. I have, uh, let's see. I'm not going to explain myself. What I want to say is, is that I just want to let you guys know that I'll be doing a lot of collective readings. So if you go on ahead and hit the subscribe button, if you're not subscribed yet, that would be wonderful, okay? And I appreciate you. If you're not new at all and you're coming back to visit just for to get a, a, a reading, okay, or just to hear something, hello and welcome. Thank you so much for coming. I've got my India sense going on here, so it smells really good. I feel so much regret for what happened a lot. Okay, I felt the need to say that... Um, Spirit, God, holy angels, universe, spirit, ancestors, please guide my dear collective at this time and let us have the facts come out, facts that are needed, the clarity that is needed and the facts that are needed for someone that is looking for clarity. Spirit, ask, I ask you that you please lead them and guide them in the wisdom and the direction that they're supposed to go in and in the light and that you continue to bless their families, their homes, their children, their friends, bless anything close to their heart. Bless them especially. Bless their health and wealth. We thank you for the abundance and the blessings for this reading. Amen. Okay, guys, let's get going. I feel so much regret for what happened a lot. Some of you cheated while they were in the connection with you. And this is, uh, I don't know why this feels like recent energy. It doesn't have to relate to recent, but I feel like somebody um, is in a lot of regret right now. Sorry. Um. I have to, okay. Spirit, what do we have? I do collect this spirit. What do you think? Okay, that's, that's all. That's all. Okay. So we have not the same since you've been gone. Yeah, somebody's in regret here. They did something. Did something shady. Nothing never truly made sense until you came into my life. Now I see. All right, this is someone that's from a, from a, from a minute ago. Okay, someone from around the way from a minute ago. This thing, this could be recent. Okay, remember only take what resonates. A message that's not for everybody is for somebody. So please keep that in mind. I always gotta remember remind people that I cheated to make myself feel important. Yeah, I felt that someone's been cheated on here. Okay. Um, I think there was a lot of drinking involved and someone did something by going out, you know, not going out, but like, you know, they, they went somewhere that actually was a trap for them to actually be able to, uh, they were set up, okay, they were tested by spirit and someone fell for the trap and so here they are, lonely, very much in regret, okay, very much in regret that they cheated on you, wow, the cheater is feeling regret. Well, some people believe that cheaters never change. I beg to differ. I believe that there is a chance for someone to change the first time. There is a, there is a chance the first time. That's for other people, but that's not for me. You can cheat on me all you'd like to. You'll never get another chance to be with me again. And all that has to take is one time. Yeah, one time. You made up your mind. You did what you did, and now you're gone. Now, for other people, yes, I believe that people should have a second chance if they feel like they should give someone a second chance to prove themselves or whatnot. But just know that when you have the people that I'm reading for, you've had enough. You've tried your best to try to trust this person and they keep running you know, right over your foot. They don't care. They don't care. The only thing that they care about is not getting caught. That's all they care about. And that's not the same thing as caring for someone's heart. Okay? That's not the same thing. I'm splitting the deck, you guys. Yeah, so, uh-huh. All right, that's... Shoot. Now, now I'm, I'll tell y'all, ask. Ask about me. For real. Fort Worth, Texas. They know. You got one time. <laughs> just, just go on ahead and have that thing go through you. Have that process. Have that thought just run through your mind. I'm gone. I'm gone. I don't need nothing else. From that. I don't need nothing else. And, and, and I don't need to see anything else. I've seen enough. Okay. I don't have to see you doing anything. But me just having to feel going my gut instinct. It's going to happen again. But this time it's like this person knows they're going to get caught. Like 
not know that they're going to get caught, but they feel like they won't get caught. Somebody is just in regret and they're with around, they're around somebody right now and they're trying to talk to you silently, but they're trying to keep you hidden. When they're around these other people or whatever they're saying with these other individuals, it's always bad things about you. But deep down inside, this person is wounded. They're missing you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what do we have here for the, um, I feel so much regret. What is that? Yeah, I feel so much regret. Okay, yeah. Karma. Balance. Okay, justice. They're paying their karma. You know what? I'm going to turn this reading into a karma. What's their karma for hurting you? Yep, I haven't done one of those in a long time. Thank you, spirit. I mean, you know, that's the thing about just small tarot. I can't make you smile, but things can change within the nick of time. Very creative, very different, very unique. I don't feel like I'm on anybody else's time but my own. All right, that's a lie because I got kids. Let me just shut up. <laughs> Let me just be quiet while I'm saying lying to this folks, spirit. Let me just be quiet. See, look, there's one right there. See, I knew it on my time. Bull crap. What? Uh, Lori's mad because I gave her melatonin. But her she's getting into the melatonin and she's trying to get to some. Okay. Why are y'all doing all this now that I'm reading? Why? Uh, Why do you think you have a right to even go near it? And how the hell did you learn to open it? Mom. What, baby? Come on, baby. Painty what? Painty and Lori. What are y'all doing? Danica, please go handle that. Please. I took the little Come on, baby. Sorry, my love. See, I told you. Uh, Spirit had to prove it to y'all. This is a big deal. Oh, Lord. Bye, baby. I love you. They're like, oh, no, just small line. Let me show these people what's going down. Yep, I'm not on my time. Well, okay. <laughs> Dang, that was a trip. Spirit did confirm. Okay, not the same since you've been gone. Not the same since you've been gone. Ace of fire in the reverse. Someone here does, isn't, isn't getting it up. Someone here ain't getting, ain't, 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 uh, ain't sliding. Okay, somebody ain't slippery. <laughs> okay, since you've been gone, somebody, somebody, little uh, friend downstairs need attention and ain't getting the right kind. Oh well, this is their karma. This is their karma. Now, sex ain't a big, big part of a connection, but you know it plays some part. And you know, there's sometimes we can't, you know. But this person is not getting any fun at all. Okay, that cheating was not worth this shit. They, they looking at it like, what the. F what was I thinking? Nothing never truly made sense until you came into my life. Now I see. Nothing truly made sense until you came into my life. Now I see. Yeah, courage, new beginnings. Somebody wants to have new beginnings with you. They want to take action. Now, because now they see. They see now. Do you see what I mean? Now they see. You know, after they didn't try all the uh, body parts in the world, privates in the world, they, 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 they can't find one to match you. Nasty as H L E H E L L. That's not no, no hell no. You ain't about to go no. Oh no. That's what my fifteen year old daughter is saying. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Disharmony triggers and conflict at the back of the deck. Y'all, this is the same energy that I've been picking up for the last year almost. But oh well. Here we go. Spirit. I cheated to make myself feel important. Trust, divine timing is in the reverse. So you didn't want to give spirit the time to show you exactly what this person was about. You kept assuming that your gut feeling was a lie. You weren't trusting in your own intuition at the time. This person's done this many a times, you guys. For the ones that I'm reading for, and it's not everybody. Remember, message that's not for everybody is for somebody. Let's always keep that in mind. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, intuition, uh, you, you heard it. But you didn't, you didn't, yeah. Okay, rejection, loss, fragmented, renewal and spark in the reverse. Someone wants to renew something with you, but they feel absolutely hopeless, hopeless. They feel rejected by you. And this is part of your justice. I'm sorry. Many of you guys used to let this person, t person tickle your fancy. Yeah, look at, see, you're remembering just the things that this person put you through. That's what caused you to get to this awakening, okay? You've awakened You've awakened yourself, all right? Let's see, masculine energy. It could be a masculine that you're dealing with, all right? 
Masculine energy does not mean it's a man. It could be a woman too, guys. Okay. Spirit, what else do we got here? Yeah, gratitude present and abundance in the reverse. Ah, yeah. They're not very happy. They're ungrateful too. Look, and their harvest is not coming in like they thought it was going to. Somebody thought that they can cheat on you and do whatever they want and they would still get blessings and things like that. And that's not what... That's not exactly the case here. What the heck was this person thinking? I don't know why I feel like I need to say that. I felt drinks were involved, but I mean, damn, you could put drinks in front of me. I'm not going to cheat on my man. There's, there's no way in hell. Yeah, see, look. Release, surrender, and purge. They will not let you go. Whoever the hell this is, this masculine energy is not letting you go. Yeah. They, they won't let you go, and they can't control what's happening with you either. They can't. They don't know anything about what's going on in your life, and they're upset about that. They're irritated by it. Okay, control tactics in the reverse. Somebody wants control over you. Somebody wants to be able to take the reins. Somebody wants to be able to say, you have these feelings because of me. And It's a power trip. It's power hungry. Okay, somebody wants power. Somebody wants, you know, to have the... Uh, to have their way. I really don't think spirit's going to be sitting around while that happens. There's a such thing as karma, and people just don't believe in it. Some people just do not believe in it. No matter what you tell them, you tell them until they're blue in the face. They won't believe you. They won't believe nothing you're saying. Okay. All right, spirit. What do we have here for my dear collective spirit? What do we have here? Yeah. Being told to pick this one up. Okay. Okay. I know you do oracles last, but... Alright, what do we got for this cheating moth? Cheating moth. Okay, let's see, Spirit. What do you got for me? What do you got for me? What do we got for our loves in the house? What do I need to tell you? What they need to know? Ooh. Angels, spirits, guides, thank you. Intuition, yep. I don't read these in reverse, you guys. It's just in. Okay, hold up. Are these upside down? Yeah, I thought so. Loss. The bottom of the deck, shame. Damn. All three of these... Oh, sorry, guys. Let me say. All three of these cards. Look at this. Somebody had a third-party situation. Somebody cheated. Divine healers, okay? A lot of you had to get healed up, okay? A lot of you healed something. Had to, you had to heal from something. Intuition, inner child. You're learning to listen to yourself now. You used to listen to someone else tell you what to do. Someone else tell you how to feel. Okay? You're outgrowing that. This is awakening here. Intuition. This divine time in the reverse, this person doesn't listen to their intuition. And they don't want you to listen to yours either. They want you to come on back. Loss. Healer guides. Inner child. Healer guides. And divine healers. A lot of you are divine healers. A lot of you are a part of the divine. A lot of you are a source of the divine. And someone now is seeing that. But it is a little. Oh, well, my goodness. I might not say little. It's a long too late. Okay, my friends. Okay. You know. I wish I could tell you guys something different. But I can't. I see it right here in the cards. In the cards, okay. Uh, what, do you think you do better than coming to the cards? Okay. That's what you want to do. I'm not making anybody watch me. No, no. Somebody can't control this anymore. They're feeling the shame, guilt. They're feeling the loss. And they see you now as a healer. Now they're, 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 it's like they're wanting to repent. But I don't know why I feel this person has like a sly, slick plan up their damn sleeve. I do not understand why people go through life continuously needing to screw people over, screw people over, screw people over. And they do not once want to be honest. Just, <laughs> I know it's a hard thing to do, but they're your conviction. You're the one that did what you did. So why do you need to keep things under covers or hidden and things like that behind closed doors and things when the skeleton's going to fall right out the motherfucking closet? Eventually, you're going to run into them. Eventually, you, the person you're trying to hide them from is going to run into them. They're going to want to do a little cleaning, a little vacuum, and something. they're going to open up that closet. You got three or four of them motherfuckers in there. They ain't no telling what they're about or what they're from, but they're going to come right out. It's better you just be honest and say, look, this is what's in my closet. So I'd rather you not go in there, but if you need to know anything, let me know. <laughs> Simple. Oh no, it's hard. Please help. What the spirit? What have we got going on here, spirit, for my collective? Yeah, the lovers. The lovers. 
A lot of you are falling in love with someone else. Ooh, juicy. Spirit, what do we have here for my collective? Yeah, look, I'm telling the truth. Gemini energy's here uh, thick as a motherfucker. Could be done with the Gemini, but some of you guys are, are, are clear now on what you want to do with your life. Somebody's feeling shame now, okay? Because you're celebrated. You're celebrating your purpose. Oh, wow. And they're discontent. Look at this. I can't make this shit up. Look at this. Someone's feeling shame because your celebration is happening for you. You got your joy guides around you. Your master teacher. Your your purpose. You're following your purpose. Okay? And someone's discontent with that. They don't like it. <laughs> what what in the world is going on? Okay, okay. Mm. Yeah, King of Pentacles. What else do we have here? Oh, damn. King of Wands. So we got two people here. Two people here. Male or female. Please understand I don't do gender. You got clear on something. Okay. You're falling in love with someone and you're falling out of love with someone else. You're leaving something behind. You're bringing something in. Now, let me tell y'all something about this. Bringing something in and leaving something behind. The person you leave behind, they ain't going to allow you to bring nothing new in. They don't want you to have any of that. Okay? That's why their karma's so thick. That's why they feel, I feel so much regret for everything that happened a lot. Like, they're really extra, they're really extra about it. Because their control tactics and stuff is not working anymore. Somebody's going to see you walk into your purpose, and they got to watch you do that. You try to and you try to guide them, awaken them to come towards where you're going, and they didn't want to heed to it. They thought things were, other things were more important. Wow. They regret it now. They regret it. Yeah, look what I said. Ten of swords in the reverse. Somebody's wishing that they had not had treated you the way they did. You got the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Yeah. Somebody here is very ugly and mean. Unapproachable. You might have been afraid to tell this person that you were like not feeling it no more. You don't like the way they're treating you. You know, you feel like they were going to retaliate. This person has anger problems. Anger problems and very arrogant. Okay. Very arrogant. Spirit, what else we got here? Yeah, look, see, I knew this narcissistic shit was going to come right out again. The Emperor in the reverse. Okay. Somebody has a mother that they done watched, okay, growing up, act like a damn ass, and then they done pulled that same energy, and it caused this person to hurt you and to put you where you're at now on your path towards your purpose. So I think y'all should not only thank the chick or the male that you were dealing with that was a narcissistic asshole, but you should thank the parents too, because they put you somewhere where you needed to be. Amen? Amen. You're clear now. Ace of Swords is here at the top of the deck. To me, an Air Emperor in the reverse is a narc card. It just looks like somebody that wants to be in charge of everybody, but not themselves. No, don't point your finger at me. I'm I'm perfect. I do everything right. That's what I feel here with this 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 Emperor energy. Could be done with the Aries, Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, um, Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody here. Okay, you're having to pick between two people. If you like it or not. You have to pick between two, and it's the truth. And you already know it is. And this lover's here is also for that reason. Not only that you're falling in love with somebody, but you're also second-guessing if you should fall in love because of what has happened with someone in the past. Someone really cheated you here. You really, really, really thought you was going to be in love and be in something serious and solid with someone from your past. It's not. It's, it's a no-go. You know, you, you're trying to make up your mind. Now is the time. You have no more time. This is a now time, okay? The Ace of Swords right there between the Lovers and the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles. It's a time to be clear on what the hell you want to do and cut out whatever you don't want to do. There's one person that's very fiery, someone that's very, very attractive, somebody that likes to get around, they like to party, everybody knows them, they like to be a center of attention, they like to be really loud, blah, 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 blah. You know, they have to be seen. Then there's another person that you're dealing with that's more subtle, quiet. You know, um, if they're not quiet, they have a little bit of fire in them, but it's not so much to where everybody has to turn around and look and try to figure it out and this and that. You got somebody that's actually stable, somebody that you actually build a home with, somebody that you actually can be loyal with because they're going to return the same energy back to you. Okay, so these two different people that you have a choice between, you got to make up your mind. You're going to have to make up your mind. Can no one do that for you but you? Now, just make sure that you do not pick the wrong one because for the simple fact is later on in life, we all sometimes have regrets. I don't really have any regrets in this life. I love my life. But... You will, you will regret leaving somebody out in the cold that you really, really should have looked a bit more harder at just because they weren't attractive to everybody else. Be careful with that shit. 
Be careful with that shit. Half these females do not go to bed with full sets of makeup on and wake up with full sets of makeup. No. No guy wakes up with his face and stuff all done up and nice and shaved and just looking great and climbing out the hair with his bed, his hair all cur curled and combed out. No. T look at people for what they really are. Stop doing, stop doing the I wish thing. Stop. Stop looking at things for what they are. You're dealing with a fat narcissist here. Somebody's a narcissist and they got it from their parents. Yeah, not a cup's in the reverse. This person offers a cup to everybody. I think my dog even got one. I don't even have a dog, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. Um, the air, the emperor energy here with the queen of swords. Somebody, I feel like it's this fire sign here. You got some of you are dealing with a fire sign, okay? Maybe it could be the king of pentacles. It could be either way. But this 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 emperor in the reverse has learned something from a mother figure, someone that is a woman, okay? And it doesn't have to be a woman. It could be a male too. But I'm just getting a bit of female vibes here with this. Somebody learned it from somewhere. And they think it's acceptable to grow up in life just like that. Look. Player energy. I run the throne. I'm this and that. No, you're the peasant. Get it correct. A king don't have to ride on no horse. Someone rides for him. He don't do the riding, okay? Somebody needs to slow their roll down a little bit. Their ego's just a little bit shot up like a like a guy like a like a fever. They need to kind of they need to kind of bring it down just a bit. Just a bit. Tone down. Okay, because somebody here really does feel like they are entitled to you. They can say whatever they want to you. They can do whatever they want. Look at this. They want you to come back, but you are rejecting them. Remember we saw that rejection fragmented and lost? Here it is again. The Eight of Cups in the reverse and then the Four of Cups in the upright. Somebody here has to look at things for what they really are now. And they don't want to face that damn music. That music's too loud and it ain't that kind of music they gig to. This is not the kind of music they like to listen to. The real deal stuff that really tells them about themselves. They don't like looking in the mirror and seeing what they have to really face. Because they get, they put you in a lot of pain too here. See? And somebody was helping. Somebody was in somebody's motherfucker. Somebody was in somebody's ear. Somebody was helping to tear this apart. Somebody helped. Gave ill advice. So just go out and cheat on him. And, or just, man, just go ahead and just go do your thing real quick. Ain't nobody gonna know me. I ain't gonna tell nobody. That's a lie. That's a lie. And it's got somebody out in the cold now. Okay? Somebody's out in that cold out here. Okay. They're watching you get blessings. Spirit, what else do we have here for my dear collective? Yeah, King of Cups. You're able to control your emotions. Look at this. You and this person are not a match. They come in with this page energy in the reverse. And here you are, the King of Cups. Male or female. It doesn't matter. I know we just said we got two people here. But, but stick with me, okay? This is a person. This is one of these people. I feel like this is a fire sign with water in their chart. Or water sign, a uh, water, a fire sign with water in the chart. Either way, it doesn't matter. This is the energy I'm feeling here. Okay, whatever energy they're in, that's just them doing them. They don't have to be from that specific uh, sign. Okay, but I mean, just look at this. Look how off that looks. This is like this kid over here doing a damn cartwheel, and the adults like sitting there in the chair, like calm your ass down. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> like how are you go, how are you gonna sleep with someone? Like how's this gonna happen? Look at this. Make up y'all's mind. Y'all know who's the immature one and who's the one that's more stable. Make up your mind. Eventually, you're going to get to the point where you're going to get tired of somebody that's selfish. They always want up their way or the highway. And finally, you're going to give them the get-go. Bye. Oh, here. Take a, take a take a Capri Sun with you and a Rice Krispies treat for your way on. I, I care about you that much. At least eat something. But then you find your own way from here on out. Somebody's gonna need to give somebody the boot, and somebody's gonna need to give somebody the actual real deal that they've been trying to have for a very long time. And that may hurt somebody in the past, but you know what? That is something called karma. When someone gives it out, they have to receive it back. Okay? It sucks, I know, but you can't go around treating people shitty and then thinking you're just gonna be waking up and, oh my, look at under the Christmas tree. I got everything that I've ever wanted. No. You get nothing. What about this lump of coal right here? Take that. What about the chimney? Go clean that motherfucker shit. Okay, what else we got here? What else we got here, spirit? What else? Hey, hey, hey. That want to come out in the reverse. Why? Because somebody's heartbroken. Hey, hey. Told you somebody in your past is mad. Look, this wanted to come out in the reverse and then it just spin and I just move my feet, my I move my hand like this and it's just it's shot straight up and at the bottom of the deck, three of swords. Somebody is mad. You're about to have some abundant blessings come here. It's coming your way. They're stuck on heartbreak. They're stuck 
mad, stuck, mad, mad, stuck, stuck, oops, uh, I'm stuck, nope, mad, like, you know, it's just like, it's all kinds of things going on here with this person, you are going to have victory, you are, for many of you that were cheated on here, you know who this person is, yeah, look at this, with their messy ass, look at the page of, we got the page of cups here in the reverse, and we got the page of swords here in the reverse, you guys, this might be, I don't feel this is children. I feel this is an adult acting like a damn child. I would consider it being a child if it was an upright. This is somebody that's playing games and they're watching you. And as soon as they get one thing of information, they go back and tell everybody else something completely different. This person is talking about you right now as we speak. As this card bounces on this table right here, somebody is talking. It makes me want to knock on their door and say, shut the, f shut up. Look, world in the reverse. Could be dealing with the Taurus, could be dealing with the Leo, could be dealing with the Scorpio, could be dealing with Aquarius, but don't have to be. Somebody is so burdened because they're not ready to quit. I just can't quit you. Somebody here is not ready to quit. They're not ready yet. And so I guess that's when we all say that in this life, I guess we all just decide when to cheat on our other significant other and decide when to let them go or not. I guess that's what we do now. So there's a new world order here. You cheat, and then when you're ready to get let go, then you then then that's when things will will end. No, no, I think the fuck not. Carry those burdens, ass. That's what you get. Every ten of them wands is something that you have somebody stuck up you stick up your tailpipe. You carry all of that, all them dreams and stuff you fed me. All the I feel somebody here is strongly upset. They were cheated, they were cheated on, and they didn't deserve it. Oh man, spirits like Lauren, calm down. They're healing. They're they're getting with. They're getting justice, and that's what I want to hear. Thank you, spirits, so much. I love that. Y'all just don't understand. As a reader, you get into the reading, like it, you get into the energy. Some not all readers do. I do. I'm speaking for myself. I can't speak for the next person, but for me, I get annoyed when I see energy like this. This makes me get crunk. This makes me get mad. Like I. I see what they're doing, and I see exactly what they're trying to do, and I can't help myself. Say I can't control her. I, I'm not disciplined. What the F ever? I don't care what you think about me. I don't think about you at all, haters. Yeah, I do. You guys always come around, so I can't stop thinking about you. Wait, that was a saying from somewhere. I don't care what they think about me. I don't even think about you at all. It's somebody that said that, whatever. Anyway, you're healing yeah, and you're avoiding the tower. You are that's why you're avoiding this person. Because your purpose is not including them. Your celebration does not include them. Okay? Then being ashamed and discontent has nothing to do with you. That's not your problem. It's their problem. And once you I truly feel that once you stop, when you, you connect disconnect with someone, I think that when you do that. It kind of means, okay, your problems are your problems now. You've released me. It's going to take me some time to get you out of my system emotionally, but I'm gone. I, I don't need to stay around and try to be protect protector and things like that. No way. I'm not Inspector Gadget either. I will not spy on you. I will not hurt and break my own heart because you want to move forward. Right? We're fresh out the relationship. It don't matter if they move forward or not. That don't mean that that person was talking to somebody before they broke up with you. Stop listening to the memes too, man. Somebody be sitting out of the computer, they be making up that stuff, and they don't even know what they're talking about. That's not everybody. I hear that countless of times. Uh, a few emails. Someone's like, well, they just moved on right after. Okay, well, that's just because they're not for you. And God's trying to give you the out. The, ex the permanent out. And you better take that motherfucker with all you can. Because somebody's going to do you like that? Oh, no, collective. No, no, you don't deserve that. Number one. One, standing there. Not the number. Take out the number shit. Champion, okay? You're the champion. You're the champ. Believe that. Believe it. You've been letting this person sit around and, 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 and tell you something that you're really not. And it started getting into your head. You started to believe it. Well, imagine what you could do if you believe in everything being possible for you. Imagine just how abundant you'll feel, how open you'll feel, how selfless you'll feel. Because I feel a lot of you are very compassionate and loving. And that is so amazing. I love that energy. I really do. It's so beautiful. It's selfless. 
literally, I hear people talk about giving the shirts off their back, but I feel that many of you collective would do just that. If someone didn't have anything, you would definitely come to the rescue. Beautiful energy. Yep, look at that. Gratitude came right out. Spirit, what else do we have here? Look at my dear collective spirit. What else do we have here? At the back of the deck, indecision. Somebody wants you to be indecisive, okay? But it's not going to happen because they're indecisive. They don't know what they want to do. This discontent and shame. Oh, yeah, they're indecisive. What do I do? Do I hide under the couch? Do I hide under the bed? Because I got a lot of people that see this shit. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed of the way I treated this person. This person that was so, that hot valued me so much, that saw me as the apple of their eye. To me, this is like an eye. They showed me, they showed me, uh, you know, thankfulness, grace, gracefulness, and that this is what I repaid them with. Oh, yeah, I'm in regret. Oh, yeah, I can't make up my mind what to do now. Honesty. They saw that, they see, and they, 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 they are very intrigued at how honest you are with yourself, especially when it comes to do with them. Even though they want to get away with what they're wanting to get away with, does not mean that they are going to. So they're intrigued by that. Like, that makes them want to chase. That makes them want to challenge. Like, oh, that's my challenge right there. I bet I can get that back. You're not, you're, you're not a can of spaghetti sauce, okay? You're not a cookie sitting on the shelf waiting to be purchased. You are a human being, and you are loved by me. I don't know about this person. But to be honest with yourself, and for this person to see you doing that, that was a major f switch on the flip. I mean, it, it switched up some things. It really did. So I was like, wow, this person has a nerve to be honest and truthful and clear with themselves. Very confident with themselves. How do I get down? How do I be down with that? They really need a little bit of love and care. Yeah. Peace in the reverse. They're not at peace, okay? And relationships in the upright. You guys got a new relationship coming in. Whether you're ready for it or not, here it come. And if it's not if it's not here already, that's the thing I'm feeling here. Somebody wants to cause disturbance in you and your connections. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be just be lovers. It could be cousins, brothers, friends. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. I promise you. Somebody here, okay, is seeing how grateful, grateful you are for the life you have, the happiness, the honesty that you have with yourself. You actually stepping out there on faith and going towards your wish fulfillment, but they're not at peace about the relationships that you're connecting with because guess what? That means you leave them behind. Like I said at the beginning, choose one. It's either the King of Wands or the King of Pentacles. Which one do you want? To me, personally, my opinion, my opinion, again, my, 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 my opinion, okay, no, the video didn't skip, that was just me, <laughs> okay, this fire energy, this queen of, the, uh, this, this king of wands, it just seems like this person likes attention, they like to go out and get glory, and they like to be, uh, you know, financially overstable, if they can't be that, then they make everybody else's life a living hell, there's nothing wrong with that, wanting to be stable, but I mean, come on. They, they fly by night. You don't know about this fire person. They work on impulse. They don't work on thinking, groundedness. And that's what the King of Pentacles is here doing. Thinking, grounded. What's going to happen with my future? I need to make sure I find somebody and I stick with it. And it's a good plan. It's a good plan. Because I need that plan to work out. I need that plan to work out for my greatest good. I don't need anything else to happen here. It's very important that you guys understand that. Somebody here wants to come in and disturb your peace. They see you being honest with yourself. You're not supposed to be honest with yourself. They're supposed to be able to lie to you over and over and over again without any consequences. So why in the hell would they want you to be honest with yourself? So, of course, seeing you do that, having gratitude, thanking God, getting closer to your spirit guides, they're ashamed. Because not only do you know about their secret, but everybody else knows about it. You know, why aren't you and such such together anymore? Oh, they broke up with me. Nah, bitch, you lying on her different. Like, you know, like, you, you just, you don't have to fake it. It's somebody who wants to fake here. And they're indecisive, okay? Because you're no longer worried. But they're not willing to make any changes. And this person refuses to forgive you because you're balanced. This is some bullshit. I'm not going to lie to you. This makes no sense to me. Whoever y'all dealing with, leave them where they at if you want to. Okay, of course, if you want to. I love you guys so very much. Thanks for sitting in on the read for Just Smile Tarot, okay? Love you, love you, love you. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and do so, my loves. Also, 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 um, if there's anything you're looking to do or need or anything, go down to the description box. If you cannot find it, loves, which some people have a hard time doing, and it's okay, go to the About Me on the channel or About on the channel, and you will see everything there. Same information. Sending love and hugs from Seattle to you. I hope that you guys have a beautiful evening. Have a beautiful week at work. Make sure you love yourself, okay? Love, 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 love you. Because I do. Talk soon. Bye-bye.